Hello everyone, my name is John Bastavros and welcome to episode 8 of my Amped 2 Let's Play. In the last episode we looked at Event 2, uh, a pretty easy contest level, didn't have anything particularly high to beat. Um, that introduced us to one of the slopes down Mount Buller, which is the level we're going to go to in this episode. But um, after beating that we unlocked the Pro 2 challenges, which although they start to... Uh, challenge you a little bit more. You, as long as you have the correct, as long as you have a, a good setup for it and um, a decent stat distribution, um, they are not too hard. I, I got most of them in my first attempt through it. Um, so uh, we did the Pro Two challenges, and now from now on, we'll be doing everything up to Pro Two um, because we haven't yet done Event Three, which will unlock the third Pro challenge. So. Um, we're going to do Mount Buller now as our next level. Um, this is worth, now that we have a much bigger uh, spin flip and balance stat, it, we're going to see it really uh, take effect in this mountain um, with, uh, with with much better spins and flips and uh, longer grinds. So let's do Mount Buller. This is a, a very interesting... Um, Kind of like like mountain village with a a, a a freestyle skiing and snowboarding resort built in into it. It's a very interesting concept that I find kind of cool. It is obviously based on a real life location, but uh, it's a cool thought to have an entire village, you know, surrounded by snowboarders uh, every, all, all year round. So let's just take a look at the mountain preview. Um, this is probably my least favorite level to play on because, I mean, it is a cool level to think about, but it's just, I feel like uh, it's trying to be this, like, uh, like they try to have you jump up onto the buildings, do tricks off of them, whereas I think it's best suited to just doing freestyle tricks off of, you know, normal jumps, as you see in some of the, the patterns here. But, like, it's... It, it, it just doesn't know whether or not it wants to be this, like, uh, skateboard-type level or a snowboard-type level. I feel like it's torn in between the middle, whereas Mount Hood is a much better kind of blend of the two styles between snowboarding and, skate, and, and snow skate. There, there is going to be a bit of snow skate usage in this, in this mountain, but uh, for now, we're going to start at Wombat. Um, Horse Hill we're not going to do quite yet because... Uh, we can get down to that drop point from a higher one, so... Uh, also, because this level is a little bit smaller than LOX 1, the media requirements are a little bit... are a little bit lower. Uh, like, in fact, like, the highest media requirement is, like, 90,000 in LOX 1, whereas it's 85,000 here. Same is true of the high score as well. Actually, it's about the same, but... Um, and... Tricks that we need to do, 5,000 style points on a rail, 50,000 points without crashing, a late flip, a 5,000 point impossible, and a 15,000 point rail slide. So we can actually accomplish, again, several of these tricks in a single giant grind, which is why we had the balance stat uh, buffed up a bit from beating the Pro 2 challenges. Um, and those are our trick requirements. The gaps, obviously, we'll deal with, but... Uh, Let's get started with Wombat here. Okay. The AI, the scripted AI opponent decided to get in the way of it. Okay. See, we're going much faster and getting far more stylish tricks overall. Tried to get in, in the... Ah, it just hits the wall straight up. Got one of the media challenges already. Okay, we got... I don't know why that didn't count for the late... I don't know why that didn't count for the late uh, flip trick. Because, I mean, I did a late flip there. You saw it, but... It kind of didn't really matter. Let's go up here, because we kind of want to show as much of the level off as we can. Uh... Should have done this a little bit earlier, but this is our... Do some grinds. Very slow grinds on this quarter pipe. A little sketchy, but we got two out of the five tricks. And a high score challenge. Nice. Okay. 
One thing I will say is that I, the Pro 2 Challenge um, video, like, a lot of my tricks were pretty samey and boring, so I'm going to try and shake that up a little bit in this video, if I can. But uh, it's going to be a little bit tough, because the, the point requirements are a little bit higher, and I just have, like, the tricks that I know how to do, I have them pretty... Optimizes, optimized for what it's worth. Uh, I crashed there anyway. Okay. Not having the best of runs here. Right. And also sketchy landing everything, but... Yeah, it's not a terrible run. And there's a big difference between what you can do from the top and from the very bottom of this mountain. So, that's Wombat. Um... And also you'll notice now that we have reached event two, every even the lowest uh, high score media score requirements, um, you get two ranks from beating those. So that's how we get to rank number one. You see we're only at rank 140 right now, but that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, we earned two out of the skill points, not enough for now, but what I want I want to put these in Ollie because um, there is going to be a jump that will be return to multiple times in this level that you're going to you're going to want a better ollie stat for because if you can jump higher it won't be as much of a hassle to uh do a trick over it or uh like accidentally land a bit too short anyway um that's that and we're going to also i think put a little bit no we're going to put this stat distribution is fine anyway um Let's go back to Wombat to do an impossible, which is you do a certain direction, you do a kickflip in a certain direction, uh, you press X and then do a certain left thumbstick direction to do, there we go, we did an impossible there, and that's exactly what we wanted to do, so we're going to race to the bottom now because we've already done this level, there's not much to be said. Uh... So, the issue with doing a kickflip on a snow skate is that you need to hold the left, like, hold the left thumbstick in a certain direction to do a different type of flip trick. Um, I don't know if there's any discernible difference between uh, the different flip tricks uh, that you see, as opposed to the grabs, where it's like, because there's no visual difference at least. And... I find it strange that we use the left thumbstick instead of the right thumbstick when it comes to kickflips. Because you're not going to be grabbing when kickflipping, so... At least that's just a minor gripe I have with the, the control system. And then you see we got a rank for doing three out of the five tricks. Um, now let's go to Town Square. This one is the weirdest level of all because... It is so far down the mountain, and it makes more sense to be a snow skate level, but it's a snowboard level, I guess, and and it makes a lot more sense that way, but... Uh, the sketchy bit, you know, the sketchy that. Oh, I thought there was a grindable surface, but it's not. There isn't much that you can do on a snowboard here, and you'll see that there are better ways to beat the score requirements than by going down to town square. I mean, if you if you can if you want to speed run the game, there actually is a way to do it, but um, it's just kind of. I'm not sh like there are there is ways to get the high score and media requirements off of just town square because there's like the the telephone poles in the there's the telephone poles in the um, at the beginning of the level where you can just grind on them for the whole time and if you're lucky you'll get the 180 thousand point requirement. Um, nothing nothing too special about town square. 
And the reason why none of these are particularly interesting drop points is because you can go all the way to the top of this level before you even do anything, which means there's only one thing that matters when it comes to free runs in this game, and that is this. We're just going to let it speak for itself. Um... Oh, well, you want to actually jump first. I'll make you famous. There we go. Got every single trick and beat both the high score and the media score requirements from one rail slide. Because the last trick we needed to do was 50,000 points without crashing, and we got that with with ease, it has to be said. All right, and now you see with a higher spin flip stat, we're getting like easily 40,000 points of style. No problem, okay. I was way too fast there. So now we're gonna do a pretty familiar uh, drop point, if you watch the last level. Um, the last level, we did event two on these, on these slopes. And let's also take this snowman out, because why not? Um, this is the event two drop point. Like, we've seen all of this in the middle of the day, now it's nighttime. And, uh, we're gonna... Alright, now let's try and do a stylish backflip, like normal. I guess that is all I'm going to have to go for. Now we're... I felt like I decided to do less, um, less spinning grinds. I decided I'd do more tweaked, uh, standard grinds without spinning. Just to kind of make it more visually appealing, my tricking at least. So, that's the high score, all done from a single trick. The idea is to just do a, do a, a quick spin or flip before you grind, and then just grind as long as you can. Um, there's, a, there's an audio cue for when to stop grinding. Um, it's when the, the style uh, pitches back to the low, like oscillates back to the low pitch rather than the high pitch. Uh, it's hard to explain, but once you jump off that, just do another spin. And then we have everything accomplished in one. Got every single trick as well, which is quite nice. And our last skill point, again, it's going to go into Ollie. Um, and I think that will be good for now. So we've also unlocked... We've, we're going to go back to Millicent pretty soon, but we're not there yet. So let's do the main challenges now. Sponsor one. So this sponsor likes off-access aerials, which we saw in Mount Hood already, but now that we have no score decay, that was not an off-access aerial, actually, so let's go again. And that was way too slow. What am I doing? Honestly, what am I doing? Okay. You see, now we now that we have a, such a high spin flip stat and no score decay at all because it's a sponsor challenge, we're now getting not just 40,000 points, but enough style to, to fill the bar up. Once you reach 25,000 points of style from a single jump, um, the bar uh, like fills up and the m amount of points you get uh, kind of, you know, jumps back and forth. It's like, this is huge. You're going insane. Like, that's the sort of thing we're getting here. And also... And we stomped it for 60,000. This guy wants you to keep doing them as much as you can. Uh, because if you, if you crash, you lose way more than you gain when you do the trick correctly. So... Make sure to not crash when you do this, because it's a very heavy penalty for either doing the thing wrong or, or crashing. Like, this guy hates crashing. 
like way more than most sponsors do. So if you crash, restart, but aside from that, it should be doable, but it definitely challenges you a bit. Jesse from Air Blaster gave you a monkey print micro fleece. Why would I want a micro fleece? It's a little bit of a interesting fashion choice. Uh, sponsor two. This guy likes huge combos, but they deposit you at the very beginning of the level before any of the snow. Like this is also a snow skate sponsor. Um, it's kind of a repeat of the Mount Hood sponsors, honestly, like, if you think about it. Like, there's combos here, there's off-axis aerials, uh, and the difference is that they want the, the, the tricking requirements are higher, and you get less, the bar goes up less if he, if he likes it. So you see, we barely got into, got into so-so there. No, oh, whoops, okay. That is not what I wanted to do. No. We have plenty of rails to be able to do this. Um, okay, there we go. Got that. Now right, we stomped it. Uh, the issue with this is that we are now reaching the point. We gotta get off balance to yeah. get down a little bit. Um, I found it, I find it really strange, by the way, that, um, the guy, like, the, the game reminds you that the sponsor, like, combos... The, the sponsor likes combos every single time you do an ollie that doesn't register as doing a trick. Every time you jump, it registers as doing a trick, and since you didn't do what the sponsor liked, the sponsor, it's going to say, remember, the sponsor likes combos. Like that, exactly. So, got that one done. It's important to not overthink this sponsor, because it puts you up at the very beginning of the level, but there's tons of ways to beat it. Uh, in, in the town square, and you can see how the town level is better suited to the snowscape than the snowboard, which is why I think town square should have been the snowscape level and wombat shouldn't have been done anything. Anyway, that's sponsor two. Sean of Neff Hats gave you two boxes of crazy Neff Hats. We're still... Okay, more sponsor videos. You don't want to look at those. Hello. Okay. Um, sponsor three. Now this one is pretty easy, from Trigger Bros, this is the same sponsor of the Event 2 level, he likes long rails. Let's just ride this one all the way, as much as we can, since we have such a huge... Well, we want to actually... I want to actually be able to do it properly. Um... Sixty-eight thousand points. That's close to the ceiling. Right. And as you see, it's kind of like I personally find tweaked, non-spinning tweaked rails to be a little bit harder than just standard spins. Okay, that's not what he wants. We want to be doing something a little bit better than that. We will. Okay, that was lucky. Alright, let's do this. I should also mention that the way that you do a slow spin in standard grinding is to hold down B and hold the trigger, one, either the triggers down halfway, and you'll be able to spin slowly on a rail like this. Um, that's one way of doing grinds. You can also just hold the triggers halfway without holding B down, and that's just a tweaked rail without spinning. And that's another way to get style. So I'll interchange between those two from now on. 
Shane gave you two surfboards from Paul and Phil. I don't want to go surfing, though. I'm here in a snowboarding game. Um, those are the sponsors. They're reasonably normal, but they're much bigger this time. So, um, this is photo shoot one. We're going to... This is why we want the Ollie step, by the way. Well, not this one, but you'll see later on. Did not jump. Ah, dang it. The idea is to to jump off of this balcony. And I missed the rail the other way this time. And jump off that, and then get get onto the telephone pole, grind that for a few seconds, and then... Like this. And we get it that way. So, it's kind of... The issue with that one is that there's a, a, lamp, po a lamp post that kind of bong, bongs you in the wrong direction, or could send you crashing by accident. But, um... That one is a little bit difficult, as you can see. Like, you need to time your jumps correctly, jump into the... jump onto the rail, and also deliberately get off balance to the to the right. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot at once. But if you thought that was a lot at once, Photoshoot 2 is even more at once. So, no commentary here until, I guess, the replay. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, first try, let's go. So that one was a very complicated photo shoot. But um, this one, you essentially... You need to jump off of that rail. And make sure that you just do some spinning off of this jump. And then you need to be in regular stance for this, by the way, the entire way. And that was the photo shoot that requires a good ollie step. Because, I mean, also there's the off-balance jump, which is kind of difficult. You could... Lose your balance entirely. Um, so yeah, we'll start with this from the beginning. Um, it's kind of hard to land on that one, but as long as you land on it, it's not going to be too difficult. Make sure to do an intermediate trick off of this jump. That's something that needs to be done. And then for the ollie stat, it needs to be at least 8 or above for that, because then um, you will fail the half pipe jump, and you'll get caught inside that. You'll get caught inside the half pipe and you'll never be able to make it back up. So that's why Ollie matters for Mount Boulder. Uh, and, be and also we're going to be going back to that jump again. So I definitely do not want to um, ignore Ollie uh, for that jump alone. So just an important thing to clarify. Now photo shoot 3, which I think is probably the most complex of all of these, um, score 30,000 points. As long as you have a decent idea of what you're doing, that's not um, you, want, you don't want to crash. Problem is, you need to actually do a, a trick off of this jump. But, actually, I'm not sure if I have enough big air for that. Okay, I was lucky to not get hurt by that. Way too far to the right. Okay. This one may take several restarts, actually. Do not do a flip. Just do a spin off of that, actually. That'll be a better way to do it. Is you need to do a double corkscrew and rodeo, a double corkscrew off of this jump because there's no other way to guarantee you'll make the point requirement. And you need to know where to, where to, what angle you go on from this one. Wow. 
I'm doing this wrong. I need to do a trick off of this jump, but I don't know if I actually have the air to do it. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, man. You got to get onto that branch, um, and it's a very specific angle almost, and I think we might need a little bit more big air for this one. All right. Yeah, let's actually, let's actually try this a little bit more big air. See whether or not it can be possible. <sighs> We're gonna put this back into Ollie if we if we can successfully beat this. Actually, it's really frustrating. Actually, I okay. Cr getting crashed by the tree branch is the only thing about this one. Depends on how much of the photo shoot I've already shown. I might need to s cut it into like. Yeah, yeah not enough points. As oh, actually, okay. Finally got it. All right. I didn't mean to cut out there, but basically, this is an extremely difficult photo shoot, and like, you can look at the replay just to be sure, be sir, just to show the successful attempt. Um, this one is extremely complicated and you need to make sure that you can, uh, you need to make sure that you can, that you, uh, don't do too much for the, the jumps. So here, just do a regular corkscrew without grabs and then jump off of this one and just don't get caught out by the rails and then have like the middle of that jump, you get onto this rail and then jump off of it. Don't let yourself go and then you should be okay. Um, uh, so there's there, there's a lot to go through. Again, um, corkscrew without grab here uh, should be enough to get into a landable state. And then jump off of this one, stay to the right of those trees, don't get caught up by them. From the middle of that jump, land on this tree, and then jump off of the tree, and then land straight. You should be able to make it. That it, it, you can kind of see with this one and with this challenge especially, it's definitely the photo shoot threes are definitely getting much harder now. So we'll probably spend less actual time showing all the restarts of photo shoot threes from here on out. But um, let's do the pros before we uh, pack up shop here. Um, Come on, man, let's go. Okay. Okay, just a simple spin yeah, should get that there. one done. We're riding with Seth Hewitt again. Okay. Get it that one's kind of difficult if you don't grind on the half pipe, which is what I didn't do. And also, this one is a bit finicky. It might not detect that you've actually landed on the rail, so just start tricking before you reach the trick zone, and you'll always get it. Wow, I can't <sighs> trick is also easy, just another simple grind. Right. This one is also a pretty easy spin. You can do a combo as well. Last trick. Let's 
do something really big for it. There we go. First try. Um, let's get out of here. So we got that one, Seth Hewitt. And with this one, we unlock the Japan grab. Which um, is the mute, and if you do both triggers, uh, there will be a point in time where we will ex where we will showcase all of these new tweaked grabs, but not quite yet. I mean, as I said, um, I am good with a backside stalefish grab because there's a difference between um, doing different grabs like at each jump and being able and optimizing what you can do with those grabs. Uh, and for me, the only grab I've really optimized is the backside stalefish grab, which is why you see that always happening in every trick I do. But hopefully it's not too, you know, monotonous watching those 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 aerials. But anyway, that's the Japan grab. And now Pro 2, we revisit this half-pipe jump again, where we want to actually... We gotta put the stats back up to Ollie again. Um... Come on, man, let's go. All right. Now this one is very hard. I do not believe you can actually accomplish this one properly. Uh, I tried, but the best thing to do is just to go above the. Oh, and I missed that one for some reason. Okay. Yo, check this line out. The best thing to do is just to jump over the half pipe because it's unrealistic to Dude, so close. expect like a really big jump off of that. Got that nice. one easily. Anything can pretty much pass that. As can as as can this, which apparently I missed it, so we're going to restart it. get all the rest of them. It's not too big of an issue. Dude, that was so 900 sick. points. It's not hard at all. Okay, anyway. Definitely need to do style on this one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, got that one. 25,000. And now, just double cork. Greatest of ease gets that. And this Dude, is a simple so grind. Sick. In fact, we're not even going to style it. Actually, make sure to get off balance for that one because it can it can trip you up like that. Come on, bro, you can do it. I cannot believe you. Now that we have the spin flip snapping so big, a double cork off of a jump as small as that is much easier. one of them so far because I do not know how you can do that but uh so tight. let's do this one without oh okay well Dude, I didn't bad. land on the rail the last trick is going to be off of this tractor here make sure we, it's important that we jump as soon as we can because like that there we go because there is, like, if you wait a little bit too long, the jump will run out and you won't really see it. Uh, which means you'll just kind of let yourself jump off with no air. Um, so that's, that, that can trip you up a little bit. But anyway, that's the Pro 2 with Jeremy Jones. Uh, and we're going to put these skill points into balance. Uh, it's generally, for me, like, at least the, the, be the most efficient way for me to do it is to upgrade... Spin flip and balance, like the tricking, the the actual like tricking improve the tricking stats, upgrading those when I do the pros and when I do the high score runs, I improve the stats that uh, will help me do bigger tricks. 
like better tricks for pros, bigger tricks for high score runs, if that makes sense. That's the way I play it. Um, anyway, that is that. Um, that is Mount Buller. It was definitely a pretty compl complex mountain, even if I don't really like uh, freestyling down it all that much. It's not the most amazing uh, mountain, but uh, it's still definitely, the challenges definitely ramp up here, and like you need to start preparing yourself a little bit more. So that is going to be Mount Buller, uh, and we're going to go straight from my least favorite mountain to my most favorite mountain. Not in this video, obviously. Uh, that's the end of this video, but next video we will be going to the, the coolest and biggest level of the game, New Zealand. You saw this level, obviously, in uh, my part zero of how not to play this game, but we're going to... But next episode, we're going to see how, how awesome this level is when you do it properly. So anyway, uh, thank, uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching, obviously. And if you did, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time.